Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, we are going to do a little bit of explanation of our C++ code for the attribute set. So moving on to the base attribute set header file. And this is a class actually which contains all the attributes that are being modified by the bridge system component. So in this example, we are using health, mana and stamina. And starting from the very top, we have uh, our macro, which is an easy way to define these functions that are provided by the Unreal Engine itself. And, and for now, we have an empty constructor. Constructor is basically like a construction script for blueprints. And now we have our attributes for health, max health, mana, and so on. So these are for type F gameplay attribute data. These are not just simple float values. They actually contain like the base value and the current value, who was the source, who was the target of this uh, attribute and uh, what modified this attribute, which gameplay effect basically. We'll be talking about gameplay effects in a future video, but for now understand that gameplay effects modify these attributes based on uh, some abilities that are being triggered. And so we have defined these attributes for health, mana, and stamina. And the reason, like I said, for using mana and max mana separately is because this attribute data as of now does not have uh, a way of telling which is the max value and which is the minimum value. So we have to make this implementation to actually clamp these values between the minimum and the maximum. And moving back to the uh, to the end, we have this function post gameplay effect execute, which is executed when one of these attributes is changed by a gameplay effect. So this e function is triggered, and this will notify us that hey, this attribute has changed. Moving to the CPV file, we just uh, check if the attribute that has changed is a health. So we um, clamp this between zero and max value, similarly for mana and for stamina. And next, moving on to the character class, we actually forward declare this. By forward declaring it, uh, reduces compile time. You can say it like that. It's a C++ thing. Uh, and over here, we have defined our attribute set and call it base attribute set comp. And next, we define some helper function to retrieve the attributes for health, mana, and stamina. And these are native functions. By native, I mean they are local to C++. And these are actually bound to this uh, attribute post gameplay effect execute function inside of the begin play, which we'll be seeing shortly. And these in turn will trigger these blueprint events that we see over here, these functions. So inside of the CPP file, inside of begin play, we have tested if every system component is a valid thing that we can do is initialize our every system component and we're going to actually do the initialization in the next video by going over here with system component and we're going to define a starting data over here and but for now understand that it retrieves these components from a data table that we're going to define in a side of unreal engine itself and not c plus plus so it's more designer friendly this way and over here we actually by creating binds for this function to our local function called um, on health change native and this is done for mana and stamina as well so when one of these uh, health mana or stamina is changed it's going to trigger our functions and moving on we'll see that over here we're simply calling the base attribute system and retrieving our health value max health mana stamina this kind of thing and over here you see our native functions are just triggering these health changed blueprint functions so this c++ is going to trigger this blueprint function and this is it for the explanation this is a really uh, simple thing once you get to know it and in the next video we're going to start implementing our malleability for our character so this is it for this video thank you very much